Welcome. Infilm is a OnePlus 8T and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now, as you can see, the phone in front of me is already locked and I can unlock it either using the, well, Google or using a pattern that was previously set. So to bypass this, there is actually one thing that we will need and that is another phone. Um, and that phone needs to be, well, unlocked. And uh, to get started, we will need to, on this device, go back to the first page change the language to any kind of language that uses different keyboard so as you can see basically any language right, right here down uh, will work I'm gonna stick with for instance Greek but Russian or languages like that will work as well and from there we can progress Let's agree. skip this and we're back in the verification pattern so let's tap on use Google Tap on a field right here and then hold the globe icon. And from here we're going to go to language select, which is the option right over here. Then tap on up, add a keyboard and choose any option without the arrow. And then choose to add. Once you do that, you can go back again to the first page. From there, switch it back to your desired language, which for me is going to be English. And again, let's progress through the setup. Again, hold the globe icon and go to language settings, add keyboard, and this time around you're looking for an option with an arrow. So select that. And then once you have, tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. Tap on the field and type in Morse code. Now, as you can see, my keyboard is right now in a different language. So hold globe icon, select English, query, MO, there we go, use Morse code. Tap on a video itself, it will load it, and you want to tap on three dots, go to watch later. Tap on accept and continue, and no thanks, we don't want to sync. And then, in the search bar, you want to navigate to hardresetinfo slash bypass. Like so. From here, scroll down to the second option, which is the Google search app. No thanks. And this will basically open up the Google search app. So from here, in the search bar, you want to look for OnePlus switch. And it's right over here. So it's this kind of like icon with black and red um, phones almost, uh, and basically like an arrow between them. So select that, Let's agree. And once you have it open, you can, well, it will pop up with messages that you need to allow everything. Whatever it pops up, allow basically everything. And you can see that it opens up, so I'm gonna just back out into this page right over here. So at this stage, we're well, partially done. Uh, at least you can set this phone to the side and then take your other phone that is unlocked and what you want to do is on that phone, you want to go to Play Store. Let me demonstrate it now. Bear with me. This is a super slow phone. Um, so in the Play Store, you want to again search for OnePlus Switch. And here you want to download it. Now, as you can see, I already have downloaded it. I can open it up. And once you have it, again, open up the application, not this one. Um, and agree to whatever it's going to tell you and from there you can close it now i already have agreed to everything so you can straight up just begin um, and there's also one another thing that we will need on this device which is by going into hard reset that info website now i have already downloaded it and installed it uh, that's because this device is super slow so i just wanted to save on time uh, but basically again go to hard reset that info website just without the bypass so like you can see right up on top right here and from here you want to tap on the three bars go to the download category and then in a the download search bar you're looking for android 7.1.2 as you can see there is suggested android 7.1 it's good enough 
just select it so I don't have to type it and search and there should only be one pop-up so bypass uh, FRP Android 712 and 10 and simply tap on the download scroll down and then download again this will in turn basically download it but as you can see there is one it's because I already have downloaded it and installed it as well but once you have downloaded it there will be a pop-up choose to install it and once it's installed just close it and then go to the OnePlus application and from here let me quickly do one last thing just so it's a little bit easier um, Okay, so I have just changed the language, so it's a little bit easier. Um, okay, so let's open up the OnePlus switch up on our um, unlocked device and go to start. And like I said, agree to any pop-up that it will give you. And it will in turn launch camera right here so we can scan the code on this phone. So I'm gonna go back to this one while keeping whatever is open right here. So from here, select that uh, I'm a new phone, then choose other, let's go to next, and this will generate a QR code, so simply now take your phone and scan that QR code. And there we go, so it will connect to it, give it a second, you can see it's going to connect. So now we can set the locked device to the side once it's connected and go back to the unlocked one. And what you want to do here is deselect everything like so and then go to applications and from here find the application so bypass FRP and or VNROM.net. You want to select that one, go back. and then start. And I'm gonna bring this back. Okay, so let's confirm it. And this will begin transfer. Now, it won't really show that it's transferring uh, apart from the animation right here. Uh, basically, it will transfer this one up immediately. So it will go from zero to being basically done. So just give it a moment. And there we go. Later, retrieval successful. So from here, can go back, let's just stop this. Uh, this phone hasn't, I believe, catched up to the fact that it's already done sending, so just disregard it. And from here I'm going to close this, and then you want to tap on Backup and Restore. New Backup, and Backup now. Give it a second, there we go. So now it's done. And from here, let's go back. Back again. Back to the Google uh, application right here that we have opened before. Now if you are if you went back too far, so for instance right here, again just simply tap on the application and now you wanna search for settings. So set and there it is, settings as a suggested one. And this will open up settings on our on our phone. From here, scroll down to apps and notifications. See all 43. Tap on three dots, show system. And scroll down to... Apparently I can't grab this. But we're scrolling down to G. So there we go. So we're looking for Google Play services. Right over here. Tap on it, disable, disable up, then go back, go back once more, and once more. And in the main settings page, scroll down to accounts, right here, tap on add account, and choose Google. Let's continue. Now it will give us a uh, error and just crash, it doesn't matter. Uh, this app allowed us to actually have this in the back, and the ability to log into Google, so it has done its job already. So from here, log in your 
uh, look into your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can simply create it. Uh, if you do, you can use it if you want to, or again, you can also create it just for this purpose, just for the bypass if you don't feel comfortable. Uh, I already have mine, so that's what I'm gonna use. Let's go to next. And now I'm gonna put in a password. Let's log in. Hopefully I, oh, yep, I did write it correctly. And from here, let's agree. Then go back once you're logged in and go back to the apps and notifications. See all 43, show system and scroll down to OG. And now you want to re-enable Google Play services. So enable, there we go. Once you enabled Google Play services, hold power key, select restart. And let's wait for the device to boot back up. Yep, yeah, so as you can see, we're now back in the setup screen. So let's go to start, agree. And again, progress through the setup. The key difference now being the fact that we will be able to uh, skip signing in. And there it is. So that's previously the page that was telling us to confirm our Google account. Now it's simply telling us that account was added and is the one that I have added right before the reboot. So let's just progress further. And also the bypass uh, app will keep crashing. It doesn't really matter, it has done its thing. So let's go further. From there, select anything that you want. It's uh, it doesn't really matter at this moment what we select, so you just want to get, go through the setup as quick as possible, skipping basically everything. From here, again, let's skip anything that it pops up with. Apparently I cannot go through it, through the setup without actually finishing the guide right here. So let's quickly do that and there we go. So once you gain access to the home screen, from here you want to go to the settings. Oh, not here, uh, settings, there we go. And scroll all the way down to system. And from here reset options and erase all data, factory reset. And again choose erase all data, confirm erase all data and this will begin uh, process of resetting the device and also with this uh, being done it will also remove the google accounts that were previously blocking us and fully unlock itself so let's simply wait for this to finish up and there we go as you can see now Reset is finished, so we can now again go through the setup process. Uh, this time around we can set up anything that we like. Um, so if you want to add some kind of protections to your device, go right ahead. Uh, connect to Wi-Fi, you can skip it if you don't want to. Uh, it's an option now because the device is fully unlocked. But once more, I'm just going to skip through most of this just to save on time. And there we go. As you can see, there is no need to verify anything. The device is now fully unlocked. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.